Hello? It's not picking up my microphone half the time. <laughs> what the fuck? What is happening here? I guess my sound gate works. Hell yeah. Because <laughs> I was doing his. <laughs> and it wouldn't pick it up. Or maybe it just didn't show that it picked it up. Who knows? Hello. Welcome to the stream. Gabe is shouting into my left ear while my right ear just sits in silence. Like it always does. We are blind to sound. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do the lovers, I just decided right now. I was like, do we do the cannon one or the lovers? Or well, it's not a cannon, it's a carriage. Something like that. Clicking. You and I oh my God. travel a ways together. I will teach you all I know, and you will destroy he who has taken my place. What is this, Diablo? <laughs> Yeah, chariot there. It looked like it. My mind has been honed by years of constant meditation and focus. While you were fucking, I am perfected I was... as a shape for the world to ah. flow through. This is why I was worthy of the game, and it is why Callus is not. He never will be, for he lacks the discipline. Oh wow! Did he just do a fucking viewer? Partying and having sex, I was perfecting the game. I was becoming the shape of the world or something. <laughs> Fucking lame, dude. Keep Oswin safe from his murderous lover. Oh wow, that's completely not what I was expecting. Undead Glackies, ooh. Oswin's lover will send an army of skeletons to, him, to bring him back. So the woman is cray cray. I mean, aren't they all. <clears throat> what? Share food. If he is with you, Oswin will eat your food. Okay, I'm gonna kill him. First time, first chance I get. <laughs> Crowd control. Dominate the fight with artifacts. So only use artifacts? Also, he's going to lock my companion slot, apparently. So he can die in battle. That's gonna happen. Especially if there are timed fights. I am not a fan of timed fights. Actually, you know what? I didn't edit the stream title for today. There we go. Edited. Done. I am not a fan of timed fights. Fuck timed fights. What is this? Mortal Kombat? Get out of here. I'm gonna just do the first eight. Oh. Ah! Ah! There. So we get the cartographer fishing. Bitter Winter is new. We get the Market Thief. We need a huge success. I don't know why it highlights lose food. Oh, I get it. Because the food is here as well. You don't want to lose food because we're using two food per step. Although it says if he's with us. So there might be a chance that we can just tell him to stay in this safe house, Mr. President. And then we go out and kill. But maybe, maybe undeads are going to be roaming the map. Alright, we, we'll see soon enough. But I think I'm going to get rid of... the cartographer. And get the fallen treasure in here, because I want to see these mud crabs. Or shit claws, or whatever they are. Oh. Alright, we're gonna get Threthas Ire. The sacrificial Blades. Valiant Aegis, that's a must. Our first artifact, the helmets, and then rings. Ring of food, and dark grove ring. I don't know what it does. This is less fire damage. This is against goblins. Yeah, we're gonna take the new ring. Oh god, I'm not taking any new weapon. Oh, I take this weapon. Ew. And a share. Although against Undead it might be good, because it's fast, and Undead are brittle, so I can just quickly slice them up, dance around the battlefield, you know. And if I get 
this and you know fame will be golden throughout the rest of the challenges. So well, that's cool. And we're taking the extra food probably. Oh, merchant ring. I should take this to know what it does. So actually, we can have two supplies. So that's gonna be food. <coughs> food. Although it could be gold. This is pretty cool though. This starting supplies. It's pretty nice. All right, that's that. Let's go. Cool. So we need to kill, probably need to kill the lover in the end or something. I don't know. But are they sending them? In the darkness of my temple, I labored upon this game, devoted to its mysteries, plundering its secrets, crafting Coming. it anew for every foe who faced me. If I have ever loved, it is the love of service to a greater ideal. Okay, there's only one token, so this is get or fail. Probably fail if he dies, and that's it. Alright, a request. And that was how he fell in love. That's how I met your mother. Wow, they're just pulling all the garbage out, huh? In retrospect, the potatoes had nothing to do with it. Really wish to speak to her starchy to their starchy beauty. What? Off there. Three moons ago you came into the company of Oswin, the potato farmer. He'd grab your arm and explain that his beloved wanted to send him to the final death so that they could be together in eternity. Okay, so his lover is a necromancer, or a lich, or a zombie herself. Who knows? We'll see. His desperate eyes and the promise of his family's magical sword oh, convinced you to accompany him. Heirlooms. Artifacts. Now you walk the road. To his village, where he claims that he'll be safe from his dearest sweet potato. The farmer gnaws at the raw potato. Don't do that. The fucking thing could be poisonous. You know, getting sick from eating raw potato. A lot of people eat raw potato like retards. Why do you do that? Why do you people do that? I mean, I guess nature is, you know, selecting the uh, the unworthy of life. You know. <laughs> Go ahead, eat the raw potato. Perish. Coin slave! Oh my god, why did he say that? <laughs> I mean, I guess mercenaries are coin slaves. God damn, you can never, you can never escape the wage, the wage cage. Could we visit my kin on the way to the nightshade copse? Rumor has it, he's, some, he's made some kind of exploding ball. Ooh, an artifact. This is artifact tutorial, alright. Scribbles a note on your map. Schlup. Oh wow, yeah, this is Artifact Tutorial, great. I love it. Tutorials never end. <clears throat> the farmer crunches thoughtfully in a potato. You stupid fuck. Ask him why he's a retard. What he happened to your farm? Oh, my farm isn't here. It's a nightshade copse where we're heading. It's merely visiting the city for the region's biannual root vegetable festival. Because like, he's, he's root sexual, I guess. Is uncle necessary? No, but he tends to be to get quite crabby. Mm. If I don't visit while I'm in the area, all right, whatever, dude. You wonder just how is it will be to keep him alive? Well, if he has a fucking peasant's health bar, then he's gonna die. First chance we get. <clears throat> general store. Oh, okay, so that's what the merchant's ring does. Shows you the general. He has a potato heart. Yeah, <laughs> he has a potato heart. That is adorable. I like that. But he's also an idiot. So, can I check his like things? Okay, so he doesn't have his own thing. Better blades. You crazy? You crazy? So merchant ring. Now we know what it does. Reveal shopping counters at the start of each new map. Kind of trash. So we're not going to equip it from now on. I might even restart the goddamn encounter or mission. We can camp immediately. Stop and shop. see what Oswin has to say perhaps. Yes. The nightshade cops winds through forests and small towns. Small peasant family journeying to the capital joins your campfire. She has the most beautiful face, you know, and uh, in the evening we'll talk about potatoes and That's cool. <clears throat> Blame Epic. 
Preview Mission Change Appearance Trade. Let's see what they have. They have the Mask of Holy Fortunes, now we know what it does. Draining Rebirth. When skeletons reanimate, they drain life from enemies around them. Enemies? But I am the enemy of skeletons. Void Failure. One Failure card glows red during the shuffle in Chance Card Gambit. Oh my god, that's amazing! A light helmet that obscures Vare's face. Only one helmet can be equipped at a time. Okay, so I would say that the helmet and the like a mask and the helmet could be equipped at the same time. Because I mean, come on, you put on a goddamn helmet. It doesn't necessarily have anything on the face part, you know. Whatever. Get 30 success or huge success to get the shard. 12 fame. Garbage defense, but this is big. So I guess this is a downside. Like, if you're around skeletons when they are reanimating, you know, the drain Welcome life. Welcome back oh. to the game of life and death. That is talking again. Alright. My food. And we can sell the merchant drink for four if we need to. That's good. Alright. Let's get some artifacts. Goblins. They're huh? getting everywhere. He's Lionel, his uncle. I think Lionel was the name of the, uh, the goblin, this same goddamn goblin in the first game. You arrive, arrive at an overturned cart, propped up by a large log. Well, here we are. Orzin knocks on the top of the cart. Uncle, it's Oswin. Goblin, poorly disguised as human, scurries out from behind the cart. You know, to su no surprise in either Oswin or the goblin's face. Oswin, my boy. I will come to see my exploding Buddha boobies. And before anybody can arrange, oh, agree or protest, the goblin pulls a lit bomb from his robe and flings it into the forest. The bomb explodes spectacularly against the boulder. Yo there, the goblin screams up at you. Watch out for monsters. This forest is simply rife with them. There's a staff upon the ground, and undead begin to crawl from a swirling portal. Why, why did you do that? What the fuck? The goblin gives you a genital smile as he places his bomb in your hands. He pats Ozin on the arm and jumps into the portal with a little whoop. Whoop! Alright, so this is tutorial. Four artifacts. Ah, holy purification, Jesus. Holy bomb, throw a bomb that causes 80 damage to undead enemies. That is... Every five seconds, we're gonna mash that. I just don't know the key, so... <clears throat> da, 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 da. Weapon and artifact. Oh, it's Q. Oh my god, okay. What's E? Bash. I completely forgot that E can be bash as well, and not just middle mouse. I've been clicking middle... Oh my god. Okay, so this can make me avoid messing up the uh, block or block when I need... You know, when I need to block, I keep bashing. And that's when I get hit. Alright. Because it's the other click. It's left click. Yes, it's left. I have it switched. I'm special. Alright. Bomb artifact. Powerful combat item with a limited number of uses. Oh. Can be manually aimed to target group of enemies. Wait. Limited number is infinite. This is awesome. Although it might be useless against anything that's not whole, uh, not not on that, you know. Might be just, you know, like boiling hot uh, holy water in it or something. Alright. For the closest living is surrounded by the walking dead. Oh. Holding a <coughs> trademark. Holding a bomb and with a potato farmer at your side. <coughs> Wait, didn't he jump into the portal with with the guy? Kill the skeletons with the artifact to progress. Oh, so I have to kill them with the artifact. Nothing else should damage these skeletons. Not my charm. It's not my feet. Not my sword. Not the potatoes. So I'm just having my finger on Q and just gonna mash the shit out of it. Q! Alright. Fuckers! Ah. Oh my god, Oswin! Oh. Oh. Yeah. 
kind of interesting. So when you select it, the time slows down drastically, and you can just zoom around the map with the W sad keys. Let's call them sad keys now. And then press Q again, and it just throws the bomb. I wonder if there is a, a range limit, or you can maybe throw it from one end of the combat area to the other. We'll find it out, maybe, soon. I'll take that. Oswin's uncle appears behind you without a sound, taking the curiously enchanted bomb from your hand and replacing it with a near-identical one that does not have unlimited uses, probably. <clears throat> Three. Mm, the flim-flam of holy men. Do with it as you will. So yeah, three uses. I really hope this is... And eight cooldown. Alright. I really hope this is per encounter and not all together, because otherwise it's kind of shit. You can use it three times. Meh. Anyways, defeat 75 skeletons with this item to unlock the shard. Oh my god. So if you see skeletons, it's bomb time. Nothing else. So that's gonna be interesting. It then gives you both a forceful pinch on the cheek and disappears under an overturned card. Ozzy sees Holy and perturbed by the happenings, continuing the journey. Yes, I just go along. Not the most reliable of companions, it would have to be said. Wait, we didn't even move when he got kidnapped. By skeletons. Wake one night, Ozzy's muffled screams. The undead surrounded the potato farmer. They appear to be attempting to uh, kidnapping. But are doing a shambolic job of it. One skeleton is shoving a cloth in Oswin's mouth while another swings a sword wildly. <laughs> it's just potatoes. Oh no. So he didn't take damage in that encounter, but I did. That's, that's fucked up. I guess he has potato skin armor. Oh my god, they're gonna kidnap his ass. Yep. Almost. With the thud of a rusted shield against your temple, you black out. You come to Oswin and he's got the kidnappers are gone. Well, that sucks. Oswin's in trouble. Okay, can I take my time getting there? Hopefully I can. Oswin's time is limited. Okay, so he probably loses health every time in step. Let's check if that's true. Time passes yep. and things HP. change. The advances of the Empire march on, and mystery and magic falls further into darkness. Yet, death stalks the streets of the city. Every step I take is 10 HP off of Oswin's potato heart, so you gotta rush to his saving. Apollo, I don't understand Iron Peak. Apollo Smog casts the city in a dull grey light as you navigate the narrow streets and back alleys of Iron Peak. Mm. Beware of Prince of Poisons! Calls a young boy in a short brimmed cap as he hands out layflats to the passing crowds. Stop to read a discarded parchment suddenly by the damned that clings to the cobblestones. Ew. Prince of Poison strikes again. Another mass poisoning in the back streets of Lowtown. Air raises reward to five of five. Blah, blah, blah. I need to kill this Prince of Poison. Money for the rest of our lives. The boy approaches as you finish reading. If you really hope to be safe, you'd best protect yourself. I have just a thing, and the bar and the bargain price. What is this poison guy? What is this PP? He's the one responsible for all the killing that's been going on, the child exclaims wide-eyed. Dozens, if not hundreds, of innocent people dead! So that's where the skeletons are coming from, huh? All poisoned by the prince. He strikes at random, anywhere in the city, and at any time, just drops one of his canisters and half the street's dead before anyone knows what's happening. Ah, oh, so he's striking from the rooftops, hmm. Is it Batman? Not yet... expired. E oh, explored. What the hell? Okay. If you really hope to be safe, oh yeah, yeah. ask about protection from the Prince of Poison. It's about the disheveled children in the alleyway. Boy looks over to where you're pointing. Most of them lost their parents to poison and live on the streets now. RIP. Offer them food? Ignore them. <clears throat> Visit the marketplace. The Iron Peak marketplace is large enough to house many stars. As you wander through, you know that many are vacant. Few people seem to choose the risk of shopping in a public place these days. And those that do never linger for long. In a quiet corner of the market, you find a desperate man attempting to sell an unusual assortment of oddities. 
picks up a statue of a three-headed creature saying, This statue of a healing spirit from the distant kingdom of D D Duna, Danube, is exactly what you need to survive the next attack by the Prince of Poisons. What about the price? It's how much gold each item costs, but he seems reluctant to name a price. Whatever you think it's worth, he says with a nervous smile. Alright. What about the protection from the pop? The boy looks around to make sure nobody is watching too closely and discreetly takes a small vial of colorless liquid from his pocket. This is my sweat. This tonic was brewed from the fruit of a rare plant that only grows in high northern hills. It will boost your strength, give you the edge you need to survive the poison. I like you, stranger. I'm a fair judge of character and you seem like a good sword. For you, it's only five gold. Ah, uh, it's your sweat, probably. Um, alright, visit the marketplace. I, mean, I only have ten gold, so I'm not gonna buy anything, really. How do I leave? Wait, how do I leave? How do I leave? Nani? Can I... Man? I'm not giving food to the kids because I barely have any food and he's gonna eat too and he probably needs food for healing. I don't have money. I just wanna leave. <laughs> Whatever, buy a map. Map reveals a little about the countryside surrounding the town of Iron Peak. Onwards, that's where we leave. Oh, fishing. That could give us money and, f and or food. Alright, we're gonna go back to that. Even if he eats too fucking food. Okay, so that's free. To turn to ask how much gold your supernatural chill travels up your arm and freezes your heart. I miss deal more damage while you're affected by snare. I got cursed. Oh stranger, the staller is says I've been picking up the rest of these his wares, but I stole these from a particularly vengeful warlock. His magic prevents me from destroying them away. Good luck with that one. It was a map! It's a map! Why would you curse a map? Man kicks the table over and flees down a back alley. You lose sight of him the gloom and, in the gloom and decide to bend in this godforsaken town. God damn it, Iron Peak. Everybody's an asshole in Iron Peak. Leave the troubled town of Iron Peak with the impression that you've not seen all that it has to offer. Damn. Well, let's not get snared. Because then we die. Food is ever the driving force behind success. So what if I just go without him? I'd probably lose, so let's just continue exploring and get him back. Terrible things stand between you and your quest. Oswin in trouble. You find Oswin face down in the forest and ass up. He's doing the Jekyll pose, you know. <clears throat> Half eaten tuber by his side. <laughs> what the fuck? He is doing the check. <laughs> He's unconscious, barely breathing. His lips stinged blue. Oh god, he got face fucked by skeletons. Or some potato in his mouth. No. Taste it for yourself? No. We pour water on him. We're not wasting food and we're not eating the raw potato. Fuck that. Oh my god, 15. That's a loss. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Nope. Eight paladin. <laughs> what? The water splashes the potato farmer. He whimpers. No, take me instead. Ozin loses twenty life. He doesn't like water. What? I might just restart right now. What the fuck, dude? All right. <laughs> All these goddamn guys dice gambit challenges are like 10 or above and I always roll below 10 most of well not always but most of the time so it's very good very good with three fucking dice dude also this falls back into the strange vegetable poison slumber can he die from this Oh, night's 14, so I guess, you know, that's at least good. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, wow. I rolled more. He's gonna die from this. <laughs> oh. 
13. Ooh, 12. Can I roll more than a 1, or is it gonna slide again? Oh my god, it almost just fucking slid. <laughs> the wind here sets the tone for your challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Horrible gas was in snaps upright as the water hits his face. Very acknowledging you as Wins begins to frantically search the area with a cry of relief, he leaps behind the tree. Up at the very farmer to his feet. I don't understand why he takes 20 damage if I fail the goddamn water on the face thing. That's kind of stupid. But alright, design decisions again. Keep a close eye on the potato farmer, surely you think he won't be kidnapped again. A heal Oswin at the campfire. Great. All right. So he does heal five per, t uh, per thingy, but he also eats. Uh, he we're fucking dead. Careful. Wait, he ate two. Supplies are running low. Why did he eat two that time? Oh yeah, because I ate one as well. Because that was a new card. And uh, we need the premium harpoon so that we can fight. And have a chance at this garbage. Patience, do not move too quickly, for haste breeds only failure. Shut your face. Breathe, you have done well. Damn red piece of shit. What? Easy. We're gonna die rich. The harpoon buries itself in something solid. Yeah, the, the sea floor, seabed or something. Gonna haul your catch up onto the deck. A tool of life and of death. That man's hand. Cast last shot. It's an artifact I can't use because my fame is garbage. Aim a spell that deals 50 damage to the first enemy it hits, causes more damage when your life is low. Maximum of 500 damage. Oh, that's why Dead Man's Hand. Damn. Powerful combat item with a limited number of uses. So I'm guessing 5 uses. So this is all together uses. And then you lose it. Okay, artifacts are strong. But also nerfed significantly. That's alright. I mean, weapon abilities are pretty quick if you don't fuck up. So. Wow. I can't put it on. I don't know how gloves work. Among the coins and confused sea urchins is a curious gauntlet and it comes with arcane power as you slide it over your hand. But I don't slide it over my hand because I'm not famous enough. Well done. Thing. I'm guessing that's the item. Sun hangs low on the horizon, Rana raises the anchor and says, Time to return to the docks. But we need to kill people. Oh my god, can't I just tell the potato guy to just stay out of this? He's, now I have to babysit him in every fight. Which is stupid, like he's a potato farmer. Why is he joining the fight against goddamn half a dozen northerners? Like, what does he want to accomplish here? What? This fucker is already going for him, and I'm going to die. Oh, dude. A bitch. Obviously, you can't get out of that. Before somebody got them raging. Yeah, he's dying. What the fuck? Okay, press E. Does E not work? Oh, E is bash. I'm stupid. I still pressed the wrong button. Oh my fucking god. I rolled. Okay, this is not working out. I don't even know what I'm trying to press anymore. I'm just gonna stick to the middle mouse, because I don't know that.
So I tried to use E as block, but then I finally realized that E is bash, but I kept using it to block. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm not even drunk. Oh, nice work. God damn it. Get me food at least. Oh my God. I lose You ten. are starving now. Every fresh encounter will cause you damage. Tread carefully. Now would be a good time to buy some food. Exactly. That's what we're fucking doing. We can see what the Dark Grove ring does. Stunt healing. The rate enemies heal during combat is reduced. Oh, stunted. I guess that's good for... that's good against... Undead? Oh no, wait, there was that one enemy that kept healing. The shadow creature? I don't know. That seems kind of not worth it. It's a low level ring. Alright. I'm desperately hanging on. Alright. I just wanted him to heal up. Enter the fair. Vegetables spill from baskets in the air is a cozy has a cozy smell. Fresh baked bread and butter. Oswin immediately wanders off. Ah. Uh, play the strained game. In the counter sits a small boy fussing over a puppy. I can't pay for the strained games to find Oswin. I spawned Oswin draining a fistful of gold. He had gold? Dude, for a meager sack of vegetables. The stall owners are very clearly bandits. They chuckle and count the coins, not believing their luck. Oswin tries to jump potato in a sack already full of bursting. He looks up and gives you a little wave. Worry about the road ahead. Friends will get you in trouble. True. There is a reason I prefer to travel alone. Same. Yet here we are, making this journey together. Uh, this is a bad mission. It is a kind of miracle. The Empire has done their best to purge this world of everything strange and wonderful, and yet the strong remain. See some treasure lying just inside the den of. A family of claw thralls. Oh, claw thralls. Not, not mud claws. And though they look kind of muddy. Claw thralls. Ring of food. Ooh. Wait, that's kind of bad, isn't it? You may try to retrieve it, but the claws of, claws of troll clubs are something naturally sharp. They have to be quick. Optional discard any non-food gain card. Oh yeah, to gain two food. Yeah, this is kind of shit. Oh, I'm gonna get messed up for this. Retrieve the item, but the troll cubs are enraged at your intrusion to the cave. Uh -oh. Ah! It says it said talk. Okay, the red ones don't have uh, noise. What an unfortunate time for your skills to leave you. So the red red little things don't make a, a noise. I heard tuck, I clicked. There was a red above the blue. What the fuck did it make a tuck noise? I guess it touched the blue. And again, I'm listening to the sound cues, not the fucking colors. God damn it. You trip and fall, and the troll cubs uh, do dirty things to you. Axiom life, that's whatever. Yeah. Oh my god, every... Is he gonna get kidnapped every level? It's not far though, so that's good. Yeah. 
deal with them if you will. I would rather leave them be. I'd rather kill them. Oh my god, this is not going well. <laughs> I still have bullshit for weapons. Oh, that's fine. Come, little dude. What? What exactly happened there? What the fuck? You know, that's kind of bullshit. They literally latched. From goddamn <laughs> far away. Okay, I will have to rewatch that. So we're sprinting around them. Also, I just found out that while you're sprinting or running, turning is difficult. You handle like a goddamn tank with one track. And they just kind of latched, even though they jumped next to me. Alright. Alright, I'll give them fucking nothing. Oh wait, I give them the ring. Yeah. Send the equipment to the groom, satisfy the offer payment in return. What gives me the goddamn token? Whatever it is. Fuck my Love was always difficult. This seems more trouble than you might expect, however. Alright, so... He got kidnapped by bandits this time. Fucking awesome, dude. Ridiculous. Should have went with the chariots instead of the lovers. I thought the lovers would be some kind of easy one, you know? Get him... Get the dude, all the... All the... Like... Like gifts, so he can propose to the girl. Nope. And he's getting fucked up again. Stop. Stop. I'm in world of boom. Oswin, you dumb bitch. And he stands in the goddamn fire. Um, oh, what the fuck? That guy turned quickly. He's burning himself. I'm gonna sell With it. what confidence you choose your tools and faith in your powers. Alright, let's check them out. Onwards. Can I okay, so I can do this. Whoa! Zoom around I can. Read his book, I might. Fucking huge failure. General store, general store. <laughs> Exploding doodads. What the hell? Hello. You have to sell my hammer. Wait, what equipment does he have? Oh, now we can see what these do. Stun Blitz perform a series of strikes that can be guided towards multiple targets. To find the strike cause is stun. 12 hits required. Ew. It's a holy weapon and it's light. Post to stun enemy counterattacks. Weak enemies. Weak against enemies with defense. Right. Sacrificial blades should not be holy though. Cry of victory. Artifact. One use. Wow. 
garbage. Then your companions deal 200% damage and enemies inflict 25% less for 8 seconds. Recharge. Item restores charges after combat. Okay. So it's one ch one use in, in combat, but then it gets it back. So that's good. Oh yeah, I see the freaking arrows. The others have a closed thingy. Hexagon or something. Powerful combat item with a limited number of uses, duh, 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 but restores. Okay, so it's not that garbage. 8 seconds, 200% extra damage. That's not bad. So run up to them, use the horn. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's expensive, so... Yeah. I love it. You run into Oswin's goblin uncle. You approach, he places two items side by side. One will make your enemies your friends, the other is poison. Which shall you drink? Quickly, quickly choose. There is a bomb and a bottle marked poison. Wait, which shall you drink? How do I drink the bomb? Traitors are. Many are traitors in their hearts. If you know men, you know betrayal. Throw a bomb that causes enemies to fight on your side for 10 seconds. Does not affect elite enemies or shadows. Okay. Wait, where did my other bomb go? I only used it once. And it had like three or five uses or something. Where did that one go? Did I sell it? Oh, I think I sold it. Damn. Oh wait, we have... Is this the same... Oh yeah, that's the same thing as before. Didn't remember the name. Oh, that sucks. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? <laughs> fuck this. Go away, dude. I hate this guy. Got some skeletons to fight. <laughs> So that we have new unit of skeletons. Shield skeletons. Fuck each other up. And I can't fuck them up during? Oh my god, so which one is the... Poisoned wind go over the years. God damn you, skeleton. Okay, so some of them come back. I guess when they were confused, they killed each other first, or one time. Interesting. Alzin is still okay, that's all that matters. God damn. So I... Oops, I don't want to camp. Although we can trade. Oh, uh, we don't have money, so... Only two uses. cat as per usual we don't need to step on that that cost us two food and we don't have anything to sell or buy so going around the shop we're entering the dainty fox inn all right also it disappears briefly turns with potato potato pasty Boy! Growl echoes across the inn, the hawking northerner grabs your companion by the arm. That was my pasty, little man! You sack of shit. I don't even read this. I just want to kill, to calm down. <sighs> Breaking neck is what makes me calm down. Oh look, the bomb is on my little side. 
so... Excuse me, what the fuck? It didn't do shit. Whoa. I don't want to use it. Getting absolute fuckless. Things that no, no, those win. Okay, he killed him. Good. I rolled, dude. Oh my god, I'm getting confused again with the buttons. I don't know what's wrong with me. Why I got them confused? Two goddamn buttons. <laughs> I'm getting old. It's literally left click or middle mouse click, two different fingers, and I keep fucking up. Damn. Great. This is not uh, kidnapped. Here you will always find fair exchange. Do <sighs> not overlook the many possible uses this may have. Many will not be so fair in your travels. I'm so upset at myself right now. It, 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 it wasn't even a, a quick reaction time thingy situation. It was like, there's the green. And I keep trying to, to bash the air or, or I don't know what I was doing. Like, holy fuck. I might just cut my arm off and get a new one. A trading house in the capital is well known for its fair barter exchanges. People from around the world gather here to trade their wares. Welcome, adventurer. Do you have something to trade? Asks a strapping young merchant. Food for equipment. Equipment for food. Hmm. Equipment for equipment. Nine equipment. Nine food for two equipment. Or six for a random one. No. Equipment for food? One equipment for two food game cards. Well, I can get rid of this. I literally can't get rid of anything else, so... And I only have one of this. I guess what I threw in the previous combat was a dud. Or maybe if you throw it and it doesn't affect anyone, it just kind of... ...deletes itself. So we're gonna fucking sell it. I don't like these artifacts. So, get two food game cards. Yep. Get out of here. Legend claiming to be from the ruined dwarven fortress of Zor has been selling apples from his bottomless bag all morning. Wow, good for him. Oh my god. Alright, that's good. One remaining transaction, well... Oh, I, I full on left. I didn't mean to full on leave. I wanted to switch to the... Uh... He will keep getting himself in trouble, it seems. Knights Northerners! We don't wait with Northerners. We just fucking kill them. You can't barter with savages. I might die in this though. If I keep fucking up the uh, bash and the uh, whatever, I'm, I'm gonna die. Jesus, stop! Oh my god! I'm not even going to bash. Stop! Ah! 
Oh my god, I do I pressed space. That was the only thing I got them pressed. And it didn't do shit. Rip. I rolled out of the way, but it was still, you know. I was still in there by like 10 pixels. I'm now not even death mad that we fucking comes died. To you. This story ends here. Fuck this shit. Oh, we still get something. Alright. Completion is still within your grasp, but perfection has fled. Alright, we, we gotta choose good cards. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Alrighty. Big guy is not bad. Arm wrestling for, for money. Shrine for health. Distressed damsel for things. This is not bad. That's not bad. Old maiden. They just ambush. The Goblin Tracker is easy, but I don't, but it just gives you relocate. I don't really care about that. Friendly Innkeeper, that's new. I'm literally picking support cards. So, the Dark Grove Ring is shit. Think of food is shit. Corrupted, not against uh, whatever. Do I need fame to use this? Seven. Fame to use this? Six. What the fuck? All items are tied to fame. All non standard items, apparently. Well, we need weapons. So I have a higher chance of getting weapons. So, uh, I think the Ruby Ring is not fame. Yeah. Let's get rid of this fucking holy garbage. I'm trying to make it as easy as I can, because this goddamn companion bullshit is shyza. Alright. You know I'm mad when I say shyza instead of shit. My hidden German blood comes out. Ugh. And Very so quest. we begin our tale of romance, although we do it without the aid of those who have assisted us thus far. Oh, I didn't switch the merchant ring for food. Oh, nor a better weapon. God damn it. Fuck this challenge. <laughs> I don't even care, dude. Or fit all day. Can you forfeit faster? Potato hearts, goddamn supplies. Get out of here. We're gonna go with money and food. Because the weapon is fine. Not a lot of time challenges in here than this one so far. Basically, none. So, food and money. Definitely needed. I saw the platinum card in there, floating. I know all the things that have passed here. Some I've heard as rumors. Some I have even watched, although from a distance. The pieces Apparently are space falling bar into makes place. Jump. So I can skip this, but I don't want to because it gives a free artifact we can sell. So, like, sure, it's a tutorial, but you know. He can't take damage, I can, so... I just need to dodge and queue. <laughs> I can fuck that up too, like, just watch me screw it up. Oh, I have the daggers too, I got them.
Alright. Let's fucking daggers out of here. Oh, that's the heavy axe. Honestly, I would rather have the heavy axe. 19 damage. Screw the shield. Yeah. Good stuff. That's gonna get kidnapped. Yep. Oh shit! Quickly rise to your feet and draw your weapon. Oh hell yeah. These skeletons ain't kidnapping my Oswin. It's almost Obrin from Witcher. Obrin! Where are you? Because really, if I don't have the shield, it's not in my mind to bash. Like, I can still bash. I can still but... I'm not constantly thinking of bashing to stun lock people. So I'm just right and left quick. That's it. I might stick with heavy weapons from now on. <laughs> Fuck the shield. How much through the bones if I get a shield? Okay, cardinal blade? No. Cryophagus is what to take. It's actually not bad. I'm gonna use that. Infinite. When all is lost, artifacts like these represent a chance to turn the tides. Okay, so succeeding in this initial kidnapping is very crucial. Seven food, the uh, an item, some fame. Like, come on, Jesus Christ! And he's not taking damage. Oh my God. Also, artifacts, I feel like these infinite use artifacts are going to be the only ones that will be worth it. The rest will be just merchant fodder, dude. Because even though it's like, oh, it will confuse, confuse enemies and they will fight each other for like 10 seconds. Alright, that's all nice and, and, and cool, but three uses or inflicts tremendous amounts of damage to undead, but three uses all throughout the journey, like, come on. Unless, after you use it all, it becomes unequipable, but you can recharge it with something later. But even then, kinda garbage. You know... Oh, look, now he's not kidnapped, we're good. Holy shit. We have the thing equipped. Oh, yeah. We'll actually do camp so I can see the, uh, the equipment these guys sell. I don't need it. 70 something gold, like fuck. And also, I don't have the uh, uh, fame required. Oh, look! Good luck this... taking this token from me. Good luck taking this token from me, yeah. I... I think I need two transactions to get the token. I feel like. Equipment for equipment. Two for one. So that would be my horn and my bomb, because these are the only ones I can get rid of. Because the rest are all basic and you can't get rid of those. I don't want to lose the horn. Food for equipment, that's a no. Equipment for food. You know what, I, I will give the goddamn bomb for two food game cards. Hell yeah, I don't need it, it's shit. I killed 70 skeletons with that thing, it's never going to happen. A band of northerners brought this meat from the carcass of some type of beast they hunt in the snowy northern mountains. Party beast. Alright. Now we trade food for equipment. Food is always a welcome commodity, how much do you want? And now we get rid of 8 food. We got 10, so this is a... This is a, still a two. To use this, you will need fame. Amazing. I can sell this for like 20 gold or something. That's a win. And I get the token, so easy. Closing up, you'll have to come back another day. Awesome. How much was it? How much did it cost? Like 70 something? We got it for eight food. That cost us one bomb that is kind of shit. 
And we can get money here. So we are going against Huntley Toothless, Toothless against. Or again. Because it's the second round again. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with these guys? Fucking dice! What? That one just fell. <laughs> what, we get 20 gold, 2 fame. We can do the third round next time. Amazing. That's good. We're in a good place. Alright, see your equipment. The Spain Frontier Bar Boots! Now, if I can get it for free, it's good, but I'm not buying this one. Although 10 defense is not bad. There's the ruby ring that would be nice, but I don't have a blessing yet. It's only 10 max HP for 15. Nah, these are good to get for free, but they're not worth the money. And we're not going one-handed, and we're not going daggers, that's for sure. Money! Buy provisions so we can buy more food. Try the strength game. You know what? I'm not parting with the 10 money. Fuck that. Let's find those in. Honest is getting mugged by bandits. Now he's gonna get kidnapped by the bandits. But he's right here, so that's fine. I'm glad he's not here or something. <laughs> His time is limited. This is stupid. I'll take the bomb. I deserve. We're not equipping it. We fight some skeletons without the need to babysit the guy, so that's preferred. Oh, this is going great. This is going great. I like it. I like it a lot. Got my rusty ass axe. Rusty ass axe does a lot of damage. What the fuck happened? There? You! God damn it. My kick killed the dude. Oh, what the fuck? He's back! Oh, he was like a poison in speed. Spear throwers throw those spears at terminal velocity, dude. <laughs> they just go zoop. God damn, those things are fast. <laughs> I saw something green light up and I got, <laughs> got shracked. Oh my god, I lost a lot of life. Although I don't have any defense, so. Because uh, I don't even have the shield equipped, so every hit is big. That's fine though, we got a free item. An awfully large number of undead seem to wish to delay you. Oswin has clearly made some unusual choices. These are not undead though, so whatever. Unless he was talking about the other encounter. Thieves can dodge heavy weapons. <laughs> Only if they see them coming. Oswin! Fuck this guy up for you, Green. Oh, that was jank. Get track, bruh. Yeah, you dodging to me. Is she not dead? I like the heavy weapon. 
I like the style. It's slow enough that I'm not spamming and getting confused with my clicks. No. <laughs> it's sufficiently slow that my brain can keep up. <laughs> Winter's Bane, we're not equipping that. I get some food. And Oswin... Oh yeah, he took the 10 basic damage. Or has fame. Nice. Okay, we're doing great. Oh yeah. Okay, he healed. Go to this corner. See what's up. Fishing. We are not buying the fishing. Actually, we are buying the harpoon. It's only 10 gold. And if I aim for the second blue, like not this one, but the second. That will these, set you in good stead from here. So, you know. I could get I could get nice food here if I wanted to. Okay, this time I was looking. Because <laughs> it's slow enough. <laughs> uh, this time, oh yeah, this is I should just go for the blue. I'm just going for the blue. I want the food. Nicely timed. Orn Gloom Grouper again. Oh, that's like the second tier. Okay, that sucks. Orn Gloom Grouper tumbles into the bottom of the boat, gasping. What have you done to me? Ah! I'm sorry, I closed the door to the head. He laughs. Ah, murder! Let me return to the docks. Oh, yeah, but the northerners still come out, so maybe it was a bad idea to buy the goddamn thingy. If you're just aiming for food, don't buy the harpoon. It's a lesson we have to learn today by getting absolutely shracked by this big burly man. Oh well. Come to me, burly man! Seconds up oh, pretty quickly. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he's doing it again. I hate these fucking assholes. Okay, I'm not fast enough with the with the axe to be able to attack. But they're doing the thing. so sad looking. He looks like Santa Claus. Just, you know, not fat. Exactly the opposite of fan. Six food for ten gold. That's worth. Hey, a general store. Stun increased by 20% against Empire and enemies in Empire in block when their armor is gone. It's kind of shit. No Empire here. But the 10 defense. But is 10 defense worth 30 gold? You have a lot of food, so I will say. Uh, they are your decisions to make. I will not tell you what to do. Stop you shit must up. learn from your mistakes no. as well as your successes. Go ahead. Buy what pleases you. Drugs. Yeah, because normally 10, 10 gold gets you 6 or 3 food, so in the fishing we got good. That was worth. Although we did get punched a little bit, but that's fine. Because we only need potato health on more than zero, so you know. I think I'm fine with this. 
Oh, look, that's onwards. Should we go onwards? Mm. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, we should have gone onwards. Because now nah, he's just kidnapped. By skeletons again, so we do have a chance. Fuck. He's gonna get far, isn't he? Are you kidding me? I have to go through this, otherwise I lose a lot of health on him. Okay, so whenever I step on onwards from now on with this bullshit, we go. Alright, thanks. And that one is the friendly innkeeper. We are going to step on that though. After we get this asshole back. Oh, fuck this. Okay, we have a lot of food, so... I still have to roll for it. Great. Thank fuck. <laughs> still roll the one. Ah! As you place a potato in Osrin's mouth, his jaws snap shut. You remove your fingers just in time. Jesus. This guy is not... real. Barely acknowledging you, begins to frantically search the area with a cry of relief. Leaps behind the tree. Get four fame for this? Why? Ah oh, yes, you remember that adventurer who saved the same goddamn potato farmer for for the ten millionth time? Oh yes, that's a very famous adventurer. They basically farmed fame by saving the same guy over and over again from skeletons. <laughs> what the hell? A simple part of every story. Especially a tale spent in the company of allies and boon companions. Booze. As night draws in, you return to the rusty razor. The proprietor greets you warmly. What can I provide to the savior of the rusty razor? I don't remember this. Heal by a meal or rest. What do you require? I'm not buying food. That's the latest rumors. Whoever tells you that the recent cheese festival has kept the inn busy and the scuffers full. Oh, these are very bad raids. I will never equip this again. Although we could heal here, apparently. But we don't need it now, so maybe the healing is a good raid. But there are better cards in my deck than this shit. But now we know. Stay away from this card. Alright. The Dainty Fox with Northerners. Ozzin disappears briefly, potato pasty, it's my pasty, I can fight. Your exasperation, he appears to be considering eating it anyway. Ozzin looks at this furious assailant and down at the crisp warm pastry. This guy is stupid. I mean, it's not surprising, he's eating raw potatoes. I have to calm the northerner down, attack the northerner and his friends. Can I calm them down? Oh, it's a, it's a pendulum. What, what's the blue? Maybe I need to pay them? Some effort you pry the half eaten pasty. Must pay the knight's pasty and not pastry. Damn. Promote wins a grip and make him promise to buy the northern or other, so I have to pay for this. Rest a while before continuing your journey. Okay, no, it's good. Okay. So I guess the white is. Uh, he gets to keep the pastry. Or whatever. Shine is good though. If you Neil, can get if it, it pleases you, no one will listen. The shrine is more shrine high in the mountains. We are among the local peasants, remarkable healing properties near before it, and try to roll high. Only two? Oh no, there's the third one behind it. God damn it. I, I hate this goddamn dice! <laughs> Sunshine appears through a break in the clouds to bathe you in a radiant glow. I wonder what happens if I fail. Do I get struck by lightning or something? Ooh. Platinum cards. Exploding dudes. Alright. God damn it. I fucking hate this so much. I saw it that time. I goddamn saw it. But I still need to fight them, so... Yeah. 
shield skeleton. Oh. I hope there are no spear throwers in this goddamn bunch. Oh, there's bomb thrower. Someone just ran directly to him. Oh no, a spear thrower. Buddy's prayer, please. Stop playing with the skeleton, damn it. Look at that helmet, it has a little ponytail. <laughs> it's ugly. Alright, he's fine. So it looks like the damage he sustains in combat does not carry over to his health. I'm guessing it only carries over if he gets downed in combat. You know. Sacrificial blade. Whose sacrifice? That is the question. Well, not mine, because I'm gonna sell them. <laughs> oh, that's just healing. Okay. Got some fame. Alright. You're doing very good. Hell yeah. Currently closed. Really? What a goddamn waste. Oh, that's good. I'll go for food. Should sustain you for a few days, squinting at you with tired eyes. Poor lady. <laughs> Exploding dudes. Goblin reaches out a wrinkled hand, an artifact, if you will. No. I will never give you my fucking horn. That horn is great. On our eyes. Easy. Tower of skulls. They probably have spear throwers. Though. The shield ones. Because, you know, two shields up front, two spears in the back. And, you know, like a proper squad. Look at that ugly ass horn. Oh my god, they're all spears, actually. Disturbing with their eyes, but they are still nothing. Oh, look, it's back! Oh, yeah. I might be able to use it by the end. I don't really need to sell it this time. Let's go do this. I don't even mind if I lose this, because I think we can rummage the uh, bandit corpses later. Oh, I'm gonna roll under 10. Hell yeah! <laughs> Come on, boys! Easy fight, let's go. than the blade of the axe head anymore, it's blood. Oh 
yeah, if you're all nine. And they still under roll. Fucking nine. Oh my god. You yeah. have proven yourself worthy. I'm not equipping this shit. But this I'm equipping. I like that hammer. See, it gives you form fame if you kill everyone, so that's good. And a bunch of food. Yeah, that's a good card still. And there's our blessing. Guaranteed blessing. That's good. Oh, what's this? Braggart. Gain plus 15 fame until you use any gambit, then discard, discard. No. Gambler's banking. Even if I lose at a dice game, I still get some food. Hell yeah. Fine. If he's back here, I'm just gonna move on and lose the challenge. Oh. Assuming I lose, that is. Oh, fuck. Please, not far. Okay, that's fine. Oh, thank the gods, your companion is white as a sheet. Quick, help me before they return. Who's talking? God damn it! Husband reaches for your hand and slips. While for a wild moment you are certain you plunge to a rocky depth below. In the nick of time you manage to grab his arm. Try to hold on, but he's too heavy. Tavers suck full of potatoes. Oh, we're gonna lose food. Oh my god, no. I don't wanna lose food. I worked so hard for that food. Yes! He was in over the ledge and to safety. You lie there, exhausted, covered in blood. That's alright. Oh, I'm glad I didn't lose food. Would have been bad. Oh, we have the badass hammer though. There is also an axe. That was mm. laggy. Sigmar's hammer. Ertha's ire, bestowed to the people of the western fishing villages by the clans of the north in a time of peace and prosperity. How ironic. What the fuck? One shot, one shot, one shot. Fuck you, one shot. Fuck you, one shot. Ah. Eat a dick. My kick is stronger than skeletons. <laughs> oh my god. Skeletons are a joke. With the exception of the spear throwers, they are nasty. Ruby ring, obviously, that's plus 10 health. Oh, yeah. A foolish trinket, created by an idle priest. Still, it works. Exactly. Ozzy spokes a pile of bones. No, pokes a pile of bones, okay. It's quite nice that she'd send all this to get me back. Uh, idiot. Farming fame. Oh, this is the end. Ah, oh, we completely demolished this one this time. The first one was absolute disaster. But this third one, oh yeah. The final reunion. How fitting and how sweet. Just like sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. With a shadow of relief, Oswin, I don't like sweet potatoes by the way. <laughs> Oswin announces that Nightshade Cops is just over the hill. Go. Village looks abandoned. The sky darkens. In the town square stands a beautiful woman, her skin grey and mottled. You feel a sudden chill in the air. The woman's voice grates and hisses as if long unused. Dearest Oswin, I'm not making voices anymore. You have come for me, my throat can't handle it. Entranced, the potato farmer takes a step. You grab his shoulder, breaking the spell. The woman squints in your direction. Oswin, who is this? Companions look, companion looks to you, still in a daze. You notice that somehow he's clutching a pot. 
I hate this so much. Oswin grips the potato in both hands. So, I watched Gutter B today, or the big sausage standoff, alternate title, I guess. And there was the guy, one of the protagonists, I guess, was basically Oswin, but instead of potatoes, he was with fucking frankfurters and sausages and the black pearl. He's like gripping the sausage, and oh my god. <laughs> It's a decent movie, I guess. It's... God damn it. He looks back at his lover in defiance. This is my friend. Hell yeah, you see, the potato gives him strength against the spell. It's basically like the fucking black pearl sausage in that movie. And he was grabbing the sausage. He didn't have any angry thoughts and he could, like, be smart. <laughs> Fuck, you know. Heartbroken screech wrenches from the woman and she doubles over in pain. Horrified, you watch as her face twists and hollows. She's a shadow, I guess. Her limbs lengthen. Ah, oh, shade. <laughs> Furry? Ew, let's kill it. Burn it alive. Oh, God. Ass of Skuldhaid. That art is cool. That's metal. Mosley figure lifts her arm and she begins to rise into the air. Oh, shit. It's probably Infinite Skeleton Revival until we take her out, probably. Just like the Shaman with the Northerners. I will heal you, friends. No. I'll rape her. I mean, <laughs> I mean not, but still. Ew, that looks cool though. Oswin's lover is a wraith? Wraith can drain life in an unavo unavoidable spell. Attack them quickly to stop the effect. Okay, focus the fucker down. Focus the fucker down! Fuck you up! Ah! I don't care about pain! I just kill! What is she? Fuck you! I got my victory! I don't care about pain! Ah. Die, bitch! Easy win! Hell yeah, Oswin, we did it. Kick you to death. Piece of shit. So, I'm guessing the kick gets damage directly from the equipped weapon. Because the kick was not that strong in the beginning. Wraith was kind of useless though. Just, just, like with 135 HP, just focus it down, dude. Easy. That could be called a rape by the hammer, but a lot of people get triggered by that word. Some rightfully so. If you went through an R-word event, uh, you probably don't want to hear that word. I I understand. Oh well. Oswin kneels over the body of the wraith and begins to weep. Well, I mean, it still has sockets. <clears throat> As the soft rain falls on the village square, you quietly leave the man to his grief. So, what was the point of this journey? Come and just... I saved a potato farmer's life? I guess we vanquished a wraith, but still. This was not what I expected. Like, based on the, uh, the card, like... A tale of love good. concludes with death. As they ever do. Yeah. Saving Oswin, the useless piece of shit, you we get Fatty Fens. It's Witcher time. This guy. Goblin Retainer. Oh my god, more goblins. Road to Goblin Town. No. We get Holy Purification, Trader's Urge, Bloodletting Wild. Ooh, looks cool. Dark Thirst. Life steel hammer mm. and blinding brew. I guess these two would have been the uh, the other choices, or at least one of them with the uh, traitor search. You know, one is a bomb, one is a potion. So yeah. these look like potion. For your benevolence in battle, your supplies have been added to. Oh, we can start with the healing spirits. Trading house, we get scouting party. Uh, wow. 
good riddance to this one. God damn. Here the hermit hides, and with him the secrets that underpin your history. We will explore them together. So it's basically not a hard, not a difficult challenge, unless you screw up those kidnapping events. You know, if you don't get the success, it can be annoying. But, like, the enemy encounters are not difficult. And you can avoid the northern encounters if you want. So, yeah. Still, I don't want to do that again. So we still have the time to fight Emperor, which we'll skip completely, hopefully. Wheel Hermit. Oh no, we need to do the chariot for a new companion. The symbol of victory over oppression, control and will. Properties I understand well, and you will learn. The Chariot. A plague of corruption is spreading through the Wudadan, trodden denizens in the old city. Aid Estrella and her loyal soldiers and find a way for the citizens to escape. Infestation. A lot of corrupted enemies. That's not bad. Precision. You will need to demonstrate great precision in order to win the day. So I'm guessing a lot of pendulum events. That's bad. Still not as bad as the timed events in the Emperor. Screw that. Rescue wagons. Save innocent townsfolk to access more stock and options at camp. And it has two things. So I'm guessing... Like rescuing a lot of people will give me the uh, golden... We'll see, we'll see. We're taking the wonder. Taking, I'm obviously going to take the uh, arm wrestling. I'll take the uh, the fetid fence. I want to know what it does. I take the shrine because I like it. I take the distress damsel. The blessing. I'm not taking more supports. We're going for new cards. So scouting party. Dark alleys, and we'll get the uh, Borobur. Let's get the Soothsayer. Let's see what it does. Ten equipment. All right, hammer, hammer, hammer. <laughs> the cry of victory. Some kind of defense. Rubbering. I guess Berserker Creed is not bad. Get some new things. And if I don't get the hammers, we'll get a... Uh... Hmm. Guess the Winter's Bane. What's the challenge on this? 30 Northerners with a finisher. I don't think there's a lot of Northerners in this one. I guess the Cardinal Blade, because that's the... Uh, corrupted Killer, right? Yeah. And it doesn't need a lot of fame, either. It doesn't need any fame. Oh, shit. Okay. So that, that can be good. Alright. I just like the hammers a lot. They're good. They're fun. And supplies we take... So we have the Healing Spirits, which is an artifact it three uses. Can be used at the camp. Powerful combat item with a limited number of supplies, it heals 10 for free. I don't know why it has a cooldown of 8 seconds when it can be used from the camp, so do I have to go to camp, use it, then wait 8 seconds? Like, it's kind of weird. I'm not taking this. We're taking gold and food. Although I could t take the better axe. What's the requirement? Activate ability 30 times. Oh. This one. Repose 25 northerners by attacking immediately. Well, we get rid of the food and get the axe. How's that? Alright. I want the Northern this and the Wanderer guy because of the, the dice. Of the Empire. Bonus. It even touches me. My power keeps it at bay. But these are the seals that Callus has attempted and failed to place upon my return. Okay, so the, the shard is corruption. 
he just confirmed city in peril. So Melly Mel Melly Fowl Mayflower is what we're going to call him. Looks down from the back of his steed at the soldier's lined rank in the file before him. I do not understand. The city is lost to the plague, he says dryly. He'll not waste another soldier on this place. Is this like uh, Warcraft 3? You know, they're like, oh no, they're all infested. Or inf infected. Kill them all. And it's like, no. What are you doing? Uh, I forget his name, the prince guy who turns into the 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 ice dude, right? No, don't kill them. No, we must kill every single civilian. <laughs> you know, maybe it's this one. Maybe he is the evil. He gives the final command. In the name of the Emperor, prepare to withdraw. Block the gatehouses. Let no one through. Let sunrise burn the city to the ground. Oh, this is like... Uh, the T-Virus movie. God damn, I'm just... Things just don't come to my brain today. And they're like, quarantine Raccoon City and shoot everybody and then we're gonna nuke it. Hell yeah. Resident Evil, I don't know. The movie. Hive? I don't know what the movie's called. Without hesitation, the soldiers march down the cobbled street toward the western gatehouse. A single soldier remains, the captain. She removes her helm to reveal a quiff of golden hair and an eye patch concealing a wound from a battle long ago. She approaches you at co and cold yarn. Uh, cold yarn. New companion, soldier. Many innocent, innocent people will die come morning if nothing is done to correct this injustice, she exclaims. I ask that you aid my men in search for citizens to this court. Wait. Aid my men. So, didn't everybody else but her leave? Now she has men? What? Inconsistency. The escort out of the old city. Citizens. Hurry, nightfall fast approaches. 60 citizens for the gold token. Oh my god. God, find rescue citizen and escort them out of the city. We must ask questions. Who are you, lady? I am Captain Fiora, she says with a bow. Or a bow. I have been commanding my regiment on the northern border. My troops and I recalled, were recalled to the old city and were ready to march back to the capital. I read to be the empire has neglected its people in our, abs in our absence. I cannot abandon those who have sworn to protect. Who I have sworn to, whatever. What's the plan? I anticipated Mayflower's intentions, and my scouts have made preparations. To the southwest is a gatehouse, abandoned when, in, when the infected broke through. If you can clear the corrupted from its district, easy. They can escort any citizens through in minimal resistance. Okay, so we are probably going to go back and forth a lot. Nightfall approaches, make it quick. Defeat blind monster cards to access the gatehouse. Okay. What about the plague? Terrible tragedy to be sure. By the Emperor's eyes on the northern border, it has abandoned its people to its unnatural plague. This. Do not be fooled, this is no ordinary melody. This aff its affliction menaced and warps the minds of those it corrupts. Turning friend, family, or lover into mindless zombie. Empire is right to fear its rapid spread and potential reach. Her, there are many called it this city home. You have not been damned, not yet. It's these souls I intend to save this night. What about the old city? Old City was once a hub of the world. Great artisans, traders, and merchants through tra world travel far and wide to sell their wares here. But it still houses many. It's a shadow of its former glory, just like the, the dealer. Model of streets, and in light of the plague, many roads have been blocked. Oh no, the Catriona Cat Plague from Witcher. Or the Corona Plague from modern days. <laughs> what? Can this be done? Fear not. Oh. Hello. Hey. My cat approaches. I must kill my cat. What? <laughs> he yawned. Fear not. There are soldiers that remember the virtue of the Empire who remain loyal to her people. I have a number of scouts. Ooh, searching the streets for citizens as we speak. They will assist where they can. This will be interesting. My coachman will follow and transport any citizens you might find along the way. If you are lucky, they may be of assistance in your travels. Search the streets and kill the infected. I send word 
when the way is clear. The saved citizens will add options at the campfire. <laughs> oh, but we don't know the city layout. Ooh. City streets. Well, let's look at the campfire. Do camp not take right too long. The city falls around you. No, it doesn't. Five corrupted remaining. Oh. That coachman dips the brim of his hood as you approach the wagons. So what will be the use of food? Because we are in, this, in a city, so we're not traveling long distances. I'm guessing just healing. Oh. Although it will probably still eat the food every step. You know. I'll transport any people you find in this van in the streets. Explains just keep the wagon out of trouble. Find their citizens to convince you may be lucky enough to trade with them if they manage to survive with anything of value. Aha, so we don't have a store obviously because we only have the coach guy. With the, that's the camp. Hmm. Right. Everywhere the rot touches and everywhere bears its stains. The pooper district has been hit by looters, leaving shops with broken windows and empty shelves. Never get the maze of streets without incidents. From this street you can see other paths. Ooh, is that the shrine? Or the dark alleys? Ooh. Or more city streets? Well, we're going to the shrine, obviously. Hell yeah. Pray if you must. May you receive better results from them than I have in turn. That's 15. That's good. So only the city streets reveal new cards. Okay. One, you know, new path. Ouch. Signs of mass departure are everywhere. Homes stand empty. All that remain crumbling ruins. Surgery must be done with precision. If it is to be effective. It's all the dudes. Find yourself surrounded by the corrupted whore that broke through the gatehouse and wandered into the district. They shuffle mindlessly back and forth on the spot, limbs twitching, seemingly unaware of your presence. Kill them! Kill them all! That is what we are here for. The pendulum swings like a scythe, bearing hope or failure. A rain of blows fells the group of infected before they can respond. So one, it's gonna remove the two probably. <laughs> I fucking knew it. That's okay, cause two, and this is nine. So wow, like mo one will remain. They will probably resurface or something. Remaining infected stay by idly, twitching and picking at their wounds. Together, you and oh, so it's not actual combat. It looks like it's just. Oh yeah, because it said pendulum. You have done well. I see. By your best efforts, the remaining infected close in. Oh, it is combat. Okay, that's fine. I wonder what the red would be. Cold, Coldyorn falls on his axe and dies or something. <laughs> he trips in the dark street. Slaps himself with a rock. Breaks his own neck or something. <laughs> An actual axe. Oh, that tattoo is hideous. <laughs> Not even tattoo. Warrior's axe, barely more than a wood chopper's tool. Wow. I'll show you what a wood chopper's tool is. Our time has come. So yeah. be it. Kill. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck. I have to activate the special ability. Kill him. Ah. Do you see how I dodged out of the way so he could run? Keyword. One corrupted remaining. Wow, we just cleaned out the entire city in one fast swoop almost. That one is probably that boss that summons more. Got some fame? 
Used to be the last of them, call your remain uh, to continue your journey. We are running out of food. We are desperately going to starve. Going to make it to the gatehouse. Yeah. Signs of mass departure everywhere. Some Great still future. fight. Yet they must know their time is near. That's more than for one. That's like six. The unmistakable sound of combat alerts you to a group of townsfolk being attacked by the infected. One brave warrior struggles to hold back the horde. Rush to their aid. One? That sounds like five. It's like a kid holding back the enemy. What a hero! Two bad heroes die. You know, unless you're playing uh, Overwatch. In which case, heroes never die. Let's go. Why is he starting over there? No, they're shambling to the masses. I need to save these peasants. Let's fuck them up. No peasant ban. Can I save peasant man? Peasant man is still alive. Oh my god, this thing is raiding everybody here. Damn you! Okay, so they didn't die, they got down. I hope they... I'm not dead. Uh, adorable cat. You arrived just in time, the warrior explains. I don't think I could have held them off much longer. Okay, so they don't die, okay. Maybe they die if they get hit while they're downed. Apart with some equipment, he continues, I don't think it will do me much good now. Same if you're interested in trade. Okay. Explain Captain Fiore's plans. I have to survive on the wagons. The stench of corruption flows across the cities, tainting everything it touches. Scouts report. We bring word from Captain Fiore. So I'm guessing... Okay. The soldier explains with a salute. The infected horde at the next gatehouse has subsided. Ah, uh, so every gatehouse has the uh, thingies. There removes the corruption counter from the map. But there is a problem. Corruption grows from the ground itself, blocking all passage for the wagons. It must be destroyed. Chance that we join you in your efforts. The soldier continues. Should you require our assistance, you need only ask. Strella's Allegiance. Oh. Reinforcements. Prior to combat, optionally draw an Empire Ally card. Can be used five before five combats, or seven if Estrello is your companion. Then discard this card. We will not use them, because this is a blessing, so if I get the Ruby Ring, that's an extra 10 health. No. You don't need these guys. But we will camp to see. Those are Megans, Captain Fury, soldiers stand attention, we transport any people. Damsel could give us food. Hopefully. Even if we fail. Ah. Right. It's gonna fail, but that's fine. Oh my god, how the f I'm not accepting your dice. That doesn't help. It might, but it's fine. It's fine. It's only four dudes. We are not going to call them. Who's mugging who in this situation? Haha! <laughs> but look at them. Sad looking bunch. Defend yourselves! 
So I ha I don't have no blood turned on, but I still don't see any blood. It's kind of kind of lame, you know. Where's the blood? I'm like hacking people with a giant axe. I want to see blood. Blood. Are you kidding me? I rolled three. I fucking knew it. Oh, yes. Mm. Very good. Alright, well. So that's the gatehouse, yeah. But we still need to get people. And I feel like if I step on the gatehouse, that, you know, refreshes the map. But we should visit everything before that. You dash through the labyrinth of slum streets in the city center. Dirge of Clutch. Why would I retreat? Let's kill. Him. Oh, the 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 red one does have a sound effect. Okay. So it only removes the top one. Yeah. Sure. Don't need them. It's only eight dudes. It gives me a nice amount of chances to activate my uh, my axe. Sack of shit! What the hell? I clicked and I clicked the proper thing. this as a soothsayer check it out learn the future at your own peril do you think I have not turned to oracles and or greens in order to see how this ends I only know it all ends in death as it should you're about to embark on a quest for the mayor of a small town when a young stranger desk woman shots you but there, stranger, for I've seen the Futura, Dongaravatsa. But for a full coin, she continues by gripping your arm. I can tell you of a coming misfortune. Right. Client abandoned the quest. But we have the money. There were the coins, and they vanish into the woman's robes. They <laughs> vanish into the woman's arms and just. <laughs> Focuses on you thinking for a moment and tells you the outcome of your quest. These are the outcomes. So I lose 20 gold, I gain 10. I lose 15 max HP and I gain one equipment chosen from two. And I gain 10 healing, but that's not max HP. And I. Oh, wow. Jesus. Now that you know your fate, what will you do? I got the... Uh, the token. And I got the fame. 
We work down the pouch, newly filled with coins, the woman enters the tavern and orders a drink. We are leaving, dude. Like, sure, a new equipment, but like money loss, life loss, fuck that. Yeah, and no food gain, so fuck that quest. Dash through the labyrinth of slum streets in the city center. What are you sacrificing when you stop to help them? Have you asked yourself that? Time. It's always time. You happen upon a group of frightened peasants desperately seeking safety. They hear the Empire has abandoned the city. Please help us. Eight citizens. Oh, yeah. More food is available. Hell yeah. Camp, 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 camp. Right now. Let's do it. And it's cheap as fuck. One food for one goal. We can get it as we need it. City streets. Signs of mass murder everywhere. Nothing. All buildings line the streets. The lower windows boarded with planks of wood. An imperial order. A futile attempt to hinder the spread of the plague. I don't really have a lot of food, so I'm not going to the things, the alleys. As of mass murder, grateful citizens, hell yeah, eight more people. More food. Oh, babe. Pauper district has been looted. Nothing. And that's it, because that won't reveal new streets. So we leave. Only one citizen. Further stuff. into the city, with more yet to be saved. The smell of rotting flesh lingers in the air. The gatehouse tower looms over you, its sides encrusted with the taint of corruption. Captain Gate greets you. Spire of Blight, or S of Blight Pyre. Yes. <laughs> so we still need to fight through this, okay. It is as the Scots reported that corruption will block the path for the weapons. Wagons. I make haste, they'll protect the wagon with my scouts. It will clear the way. Right. Time to murder. We don't need support. So we have a terror, normal people and something new. Plus the spire. It might spawn people, might Straight on them. Uh -huh. Looks cool. Oh wow! It's making noises. Corruption. The land itself becomes shattered, shambling, and broken. Next, with burst of corruption, bursts of corruption, and that snare and damage the target. Use a way to avoid their attacks or so change direction rapidly. Fuck! I'm gonna focus this thing down. What the fuck? That's a big yeah. range for that. No! You're in person. He got asked by the big thing. Ah, look, those, those things have a bigger arm. Nice one. Alright, 
Corrupted still not the worst uh, type of enemy to fight. So got them spear throwers, dude. Captain Fury addresses you. You have a steady swing, excellent soldier. It will only be someone who doesn't call us of age caged, man. It'll only be more difficult from here on. Bear no ill will towards you. If you choose to leave. I can abandon. Why is this an option? What? I, I kind of want to see what it does, but we are doing okay. Let's just go. Captain Scouts lead the wagons through this next district and seal the gates. You send. What is it the towers will watch over? A stream of death and despair? Next being broken. The tower provides a commanding view over the once impressive city. The giant tower. It's pause to get your breath. You watch the last of the sun's ray this rays disappear over the horizon. Colbjorn shakes your shoulder and points over the battlements of the south. Wow, you need a lot of people still. Yeah. All right. Ah, the reflection of the spiky thing. RTX on. Look at that. RTX! <laughs> There you see the final gatehouse, its tower rising from the wall of the old city to the south. Dealer adds corruption counter. 500! Oh Jesus. 40! It's nothing. Have you ever seen so many? Call your remarks as you watch the infected from the city wall. It's World War Z. <laughs> How can the Empire let its people suffer so? Well, beyond mutters under their breath. And the abandon. And then abandon those in need. More blight monsters. Oh, okay. As they continue to look, a small glow appears on the horizon beyond the city perimeter. First one, then another, and another. The Empire! They are preparing to burn the city. We must get to the people, get the people to safety. Let's hope we are not too late. Oh no. Oh no. Is there like a timer? Like I can take X amount of steps before shit goes to... Ruin. Look at this one. Spread of plague has rendered the district a blackened maze. Crust of contagion warps cobblestones and weakens foundations. Man, it's corruption, dude. Progress is perilous. Is that also a thing? Yeah. Smoke fills the city and stings your eyes. The Empire intends to staunch the infection with fire. You pick up the pace. They uh -oh. believe fire will purge this sickness. But the sickness is not in the city. It is in the land itself. It will be purged, but not like this. Not like this. With a terrible crash, the building besides you is struck by a flaming catapult shot. Jesus. The building heaves and twists from the impact and crumbles across the street in front of you. Then to dodge burning boulders, I guess. Colbion shields their eyes from the blaze. Quickly, we must find another way. Turn the wagons around and search for another road through the district. Oh yeah, I'm carrying a bunch of people. Oh my god. Oh no, it's burning! Putrefaction has ravaged a part of the city. Narrow alleyways which never see the light of day harbor nothing but death. Oh my god, where are the people? <coughs> Smoke! With Hungry every step... Pops. Corruption reaches further, and your chances become less. Oh, these might not be saved. <laughs> Spy a group of poor urchins loitering in an alley. They look hungry as you approach this scramble. I'm here to help. How do we know you're not one of them? Don't cry, so do we know you're not sick like other mo like those monsters? I mean, huddled. Well, well, well. Time for the pendulum. Oh my god. Okay, it was on the blue. I will not go for the white. That, that will like, set you in good stead Jesus. from here. Four. I will not get the sixty. Successfully grab some of the children before they make their escape. Load them into the wagons, assure them of their safety. Being urgent, you mean unreachable. It's no use. Maybe some food would coax them out. No food. We leave. I need the food for myself. God damn it. Petrification. Even Petrification. in the midst of terrors. 
there will always be traders who stayed too long hoping to profit. Find the merchant and his family. Explain Captain Fiore's plans and help them. Eight people. And now we can sell equipment. Thank you. Should you find yourself short of gold? Yeah, sure. Check. Oh, what's up there? Bedded ferns. I don't think we're going to do that. We don't have food. Unless you can sell some stuff. Can sell my axe. Hero, every step I need to munch on an apple. No. Yeah, so we're going to abandon that one. Well, city streets. So I could still go back to the hungry paupers if I somehow get food, but that's not gonna happen. Smoke fills the city. Oh, fuck. Oh, and it puts me back. Oh, shit. Playground and this beckoned maze. The if there is Aye. a finer mind than my own, I've yet to meet it. Yet I've brought a scourge of mindlessness into this world and must suffer the results. You did this. Hey, a wounded peasant runs stumbling down the streets, chased by a horde of corrupted. You're saving one person? Okay. Falls at your feet and begins to twitch. That TV. The blood from his wounds boils and blackens. He's already infected, but we'll fight the corrupted anyways. I mean, we need to kill them. Like, 40? Like, come on. We don't need the help. What if I call for their aid, but they die in battle? Do I just lose the thingy? Oh, there's a rat. Look at that. Adorable. I have told you. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Oh, bitch. Okay, these, I really hope that doing finisher is the, the time counter will stop. You know, this takes time, look at that. Five seconds. <laughs> cool. Don't question it. It's fun. Hell yeah. Dispatched. They are grateful for my protection. I am oh. not a vain man. You must appreciate that the game, this game, has been my focus for more years than I can count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. Oh, I could go back and get myself starving, but get more people. You're kind of close. Twelve more. Wait, twelve more? No, twenty-two more. <laughs> Five citizens. Yes. The eldest child reaches out gingerly and snatches the food, devouring it in an instant. It's an apple! Anger work comes the rest of the group and they crawl from their hiding places to gobble out the food. Their trust gained, the board of wagons. You resume your journey. Eight more, wow. Okay, fourteen more. That is awesome. Get a little closer to the gate itself. Eutrification. Oh no! We must find another way. Uh... Right. Smoke fills the city. Do you wonder what lies beyond the gates of death? This corruption is but a small part of it. To kill. 
I like this one a lot more than the uh, Potato Man. It's interesting, you know, it's like, we're in the city, saving people. It's a simple one, and it's not overly annoying. Inflicted. Like this big arm. Mm. The rod grants power before it grants release. Muscle replaced with darkness. Organs pumping black bile through shattered veins. Yum. Infected enemies are feeble, causing them to become knocked down when health is low. Use a finisher before they recover. Fuck you up! Your cities ah. are tainted. I have told you this. In trouble. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't even see the finish on that guy. So cool. Gotta save the dude for glory. Yeah. Oh. Combo and stepping on its crotch. Ha! Like a boss. No. Warrior's axe. Oh, unlocked. It's probably gonna get enhanced. Uh, is that like. That's clipping through the, uh, the tray. It's kinda shit. Poor defeated tons will rush to tend the peasants. They agree. Oh boy, we need the food. Food. Oh my god. They are infected. They have you nothing might to offer want you. to work on this. That's okay. Clearly you lack what it takes. <laughs> what the hell kind of shit talk is that? <laughs> From the wheel that only had one failure, I chose the, I got the failure. Good job. Good job me. So apparently the top one is not what I get. I guess it depends on the speed and maybe the saturation of cars. I need to... It's its such a rare encounter, you know. I, I didn't learn it yet. Grateful for their lives. I mean, we still get citizens and fame. Nine more. That'd be good. Arm wrestling for money. I don't think that's important. <laughs> okay, the city is burning. And it's, it's it's filled with infested and shit, and they are arm wrestling. <laughs> funny. I know it's a chosen card from my deck, but still, it's a funny thing. Like the fitted fetid ferns or whatever, you know, it kind of fits. Right, go here so it gets you know unlocked, and then we go back and try to get stuff here because we need people. Unless we get the people here, because otherwise. <laughs> At that point, I'll abandon everybody else. Fuck them. Fuck. Rivers water. Now put put my monster energy drink emanates with a mi miasma that turns your stomach. Yeah, it's, it's it might be G fuel. Who knows? Ever get the maze of streets without incident? God damn it! What if I step on the fire again? Plague. Fucking maze. Maybe you should look to gain your strength at the wagon, Kobir says. You make your way through the window when the peasants may have food to trade. Oh wow, it's telling me to fucking get some food. Okay. But here's the thing, right? They don't have food. They have jack shit. Okay, you're going to starve. Dead bodies little the streets. Litter the streets while rats scurry in search of a feast. Drudge of corruption. Kill him. <laughs> Woo! Double kill. With quick and precise, you eliminate the first two groups of infected. Little resistance. Boop.
Nicely timed. Reaction time training. Holy shit. Flurry of strikes. Fell the infected before they can retaliate. Only four random dudes remain. So I'm guessing the last companion is going to be the pendulum one. Together we will push them back. Yeah. Okay, so I can interrupt my finisher cutscene thingy by doing another major action, like using my C. That's good to know. Oh, for you know the the, the uh, emperor timed battles bullshit later on that I'm going to do for the last you know eight time battles. It used to be the last of them. Right. So no more citizens in this one. God damn it, we're gonna starve. Oh, no. We don't have food. That body's littered the streets. Oh my god, this guy is annoying me. I'm dying. Dude, I just need nine more people. Come on. Smoke fills the city and stings my eyes. There we go. That's probably going to be eight. <laughs> At least they have food. Could just retreat because we don't gain people from this, but we still need to, you know, kill them. So let's go do some reaction time bullshit. So the beam can go through these side thingies. Apparently, it's good. Maybe the the huge failure. The pendulum is ever changing. More enemies and added. the challenges it presents change too. Because we alert more. if these mechanics come back in the endless adventure, you know, like you wandered into a plague-ridden city or something. Right, let's kill these big armed assholes. Oh, slapped my ass. Okay, so during finisher, you're not invulnerable. During your like C attack, oh. so that makes finishers kind of dangerous. Really like oh what a butterfly that was some texture bug butterfly or maybe just colorful I don't really like how during finisher I'm not invulnerable it's kind of shit all right so we cleaned the streets corruption is gone before gate is blocked more by layers of corruption ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. what is that is that what is that scouts Dude, I need people. One person, please. Oh my god, it's all burning. Why 
Whatever, dude. Keep fighting. I don't care. I could have gambled with Three, the white, but you have done well. It's fine. Terror, Billy. Of getting low on health, so starving is going to be fun. <laughs> Starve to death before the game. Oh my god, what the hell am I doing? Not gaining food from this. Oh, temple prayers. We don't have money. I'm gonna go around. So if this one doesn't have a person in it, then this is not doable. I saved literally everyone so far. Unless you gotta get the pendulum on the white to get the kids. God damn. Okay, grateful here. Alright, here we go. I have to save at least one person. And then we Gucci. Easy game. <laughs> All right, peasants, stay back. Let us handle this bullshit. Oh. The wrong button again. I am. And I didn't press anything there. One of them has a gun. That one will be, will be the one to live. Or, or maybe not. Oh my god, they're all dying. Sell my warrior's axe. Buy food and heal up a little bit. Right, and then we do the healing with the staff because otherwise I would lose health. So. Endless dark deeds have been done in the name of the Empire. Cool. May you set that ledger right. At least in part. I will kill everything that stands in our way. Long last you arrive at the final gatehouse. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, so I have the village I ask. X. That's good. Leave. I should have frightened citizens through the gate. Many thanks to you, she says with a smile. I doubt we would have done anything more for people of our old city. All the voice shouts be in the gate. Oh, we're gonna have to fight the Empire. Then to see a troop of Empire soldiers marching through the gatehouse. Captain of Steel, Captain America, by decree of the Emperor, none are permitted to leave the old city. Captain Fiora, you are in to return to the capital city at once to report. 
the captain commands. Captain Fiore scoffs, calling the young captain blocking the gate. These people bear no mark of corruption, except the one that has black bile coming off of it. All they want is safe passage, Emperor Decree or no, is our duty to protect them. Uh, he's a good little good little soldier dog. He's, he's gonna be like, no, orders are orders, dude. Fucking soldiers, dude. What good is a soldier who cannot follow commands? I fucking called it. What is an empire without order? The young captain retorts proudly. By the decree of the Emperor, none are permitted to leave the old city. Well then, you will die here, Captain. You will die here. Captain Fiora draws the, her pistol. Ooh. Standing between the cowering old city refugees and the Emperor's decree. I will not stand down. Oh! Two thingies. I will call them. Hell yeah, Scout of Steel. Let's go. Emperor fighting Emperor, or Empire fighting Empire, rather. Killing good little loyal dogs. That's what I live for. You're mine, bitch. Captain Sterling. <laughs> he bears the pleas from the old city, but does not weep. Orders are orders, for oh, here's. Captain said armor that does standards attack. Seven attacks. He's bashed to break down. I fight for I justice. Fuck? Not simply as I ordered. If this is how it must be. Okay, so the musketeers. Be you die first. There's another dude. With my axe! City's clear, kind of burning. You leave some people behind, but you know. These Emperor decree injustices have been on the increase of late. <laughs> Captain Fiore says something ill is growing from within. She pauses the ruminations and gives you a stern look. The Empire would do well to have somebody like you serving it. Uh, no, the Empire would do well to burn like the city. I have befriended Estrella. Oh, it's Estrella, not Estella, whatever. A soldier. This is where you differ. There is no problem Callus would not have solved through death, yet you show mercy. Well, I didn't really show mercy to that guy. For finding safe passage through the plague ridden city, we get plague. Alchemist. Yvonne's cottage. Street fighter. <laughs> And the Pauper Dilemma. And we get Empire's Burden, Oxman's Bane. Ooh. Nice. Maybe it's like a, you can shoot the blade out. <laughs> Belvin's Favor. And an Elusive Charm. So you've got a blacksmith from the old city, your supplies have been added to. You get the leather armor. Befriending Estrella, we get Estrella's quest. Mayor of Four Wo Farwater, and we get Estrella the soldier. And we're saving everyone. We're screwing all of the citizens in the old city. At the Rethgar's Quake, it's for the artifact. And you get a platinum ring thingy. Drifter's Companion. Ooh. And the hammer. But perhaps the warrior's axe, chieftain's axe. Ooh. Can I start with that? That looks cool. Oh, 
Oh, my stream died. Oh, that's perfect timing, dude. <laughs> I might stop anyways. Yeah, so it's still it's telling me on Twitch that it's going. But this Discord, or not Discord, OBS is telling me that it's been 400. No, it's reconnecting in 400. Are you fucking kidding me? It's the 10th attempt. Why does it go up to such high... Whatever, dude. Uh, well, if you are watching the VOD, you will hear this. Because the stream is dead already, so... Thanks for watching. Potato Man was kind of funny, but... Kind of disliked it. And this uh, chariot one was fun. This blighted city, you know, old city, save people and go around and shit. It was kind of cool. It was simple. I mean, at the at the base they're all simple, you know, but I liked it. So next time I'll probably do Hermit, maybe, or retry the Hierophant. The goddamn clues. Yeah. We're not touching the Emperor, just fuck that. So yeah, thank, thank you for uh, watching. Goodbye!